Hi everyone, my name is Luis Guerra and this is my presentation for the International Congress on Visual Culture. The title is uh, Fernand Deligny, A Gestural Philosophy, L'Agir et le Monde Registre. In 1979, Fernand Deligny published Les Détours de l'Agir ou le Monde Registre. Here, Deligny explores an essential distinction between what it will be l'agir as an involuntary act, an action which will not play any role in the symbolic or communicational inscription of a context, and that of le faire, what it will have real destiny in its occurrence. At the beginning of his text, Deligny expresses that, quote, that the action, l'agir, is devoid of intention is what I mean. Nevertheless, the action does exist, human without a doubt, and not the residue of some ineptitude, but a luminous outline of what the inherited image that each one makes of the man has always eluded. End of quote. This difference will be made more explicit by the description and commentary he develops when observing the play of two girls at the savant's attempt. One of the girls, called Isabel, is playing with some stones in the water. Anne seems washing stones, leaving them next to each other at the side of the puddle that both are surrounding. Deligny informs us that neither girl uses language, but Isabel can hear and understand what is said to her. In Anne's case, she's deaf to the meaning of words. Deligny then describes the difference he makes between Anne's l'agir and Isabelle's le faire. Quote, it is clear that the gestures of, R, of one are not of the same flow, the same way as the gestures of the other. Isabel links her gestures to those of Anne either to hand her a stone or to remove the stones in front of the hands of the other. It is indeed the other, and she helps or hinders her, and Anne's gestures stumble upon this obstacle, trying to recover her own line of wandering, the wandering coming from this impulse where the other doesn't exist as such. We can understand what Isabel does. She plays. Her gestures resemble ours. Anne doesn't play. In this kind of action, which is to have fun, the other one is there, in front row. In Anne's acting, it is not about having fun. She's not acting. In acting, there is a role, and often an around a role. Young animals play and pretend to play, while an autistic child seems to have no role to play. This is what is surprising, that an animal plays while an autistic child doesn't. To say that Anne plays alone will be wrong, and doubly wrong. There is no role played, and a point of solitude which will be the absence of any other. The non-existence of all others is not her absence. The difference is that Le Faire is articulated around an objective. It supposes a utility. Meanwhile, l'agir is what escapes that order. In fact, Quote, the excitement of l'agir is not of the order of the fall. End of quote. In the attempt to advance sedimentation of trajectories and faults, apparently nested in the hyper-relationship constituted between the environment or environments, the bodies, the movements, and the very contingency of an insistent repetition, an echoic landscape is formed by a continuing sedimentation of trajectories in action. Deligny's net Le Razo was an invisible shelter of figures that wander and encroach in different uncertain zones. Destitute rooms, adjoining walls, areas with no thickness, vacant sites, houses or just workshops abandoned to the violence of a daily nature, the images we have of this network present us with an open space where shadows permeate to one another. Unnoticed events, unattended events, les moindres gestes. 
A gestural philosophy happens through the attempt in its form of being formed. The gestural in Deligny's attempt occurs in the performative surface happens to be the attempt itself. It is in the form of the attempt where it lies the opportunity of the gestures. The plasticity of its structure around, rounding, wandering in the close presence of the children. Deligny comments in his texts L'Enfant Comblé, so this sub, suppose, that comes to place itself upon the other or to take its place, is indeed the thing to be done, le faire. The contribution of the comprehension that intensifies when it comes up against resistance. Thus, we have deliberately sacrificed the sub, we have deposited it outside the living area, so that topos remains clean and allows for the research we have been conducting as cleanly and properly as possible for the past 10 years, which is really not a very long time." End of quote. Topos is the word Deligny uses to mention the remnant. Furthermore, the remnant is all that which is left outside of the frontiers of language, of comprehension. Nevertheless, as he argues, any comprehension supposes a signification already in place at work. In the attempt, it is not about comprehension, but about the topos, the place, as he claims, remains clean. The topos is that in between that what we have at least in common topos the living area outside. It is a topos created that allows then the appearance of the gestures without any psychological, educational, pedagogical, or philosophical meaning. The gestures are left to become, as Watari and Deleuze describe the transformation layered in Kafka's work. So, why a gestural philosophy? Because it is a form of thinking based on gestures, actions made without any specific sense of participation, of comprehension, of building limits. Writing, filming, tracing, wandering, living were without the aim of institutionalizing the process of the attempt. A gesture loses itself in its becoming. It trespasses the limits forged by productivity. It renounces, it derives, it detours as a way of not allowing its inclusion in the certainty of the civilized. Gestural as the ricochet of the stone upon the surface of the water. It stands still until it disappears. It faints. In its eventing, as this possess it appears to be, allows the remnant to surface despite the general ill noise of the man what we are. Why is that Deligny seems necessary to revisit? Why is it that there is something useful in Deligny's gestural philosophy? Perhaps more than ever when for the first time our contemporary globalized imaginary world faces mortality and material limits, a philosophy calling for an extreme reflection on the form of life is being li lived, and questioning till its grounds any authoritarian rationality that leaves everything outside its actions with aims seems pertinent. Not only because it shows the possibility of different surfaces of l'agir and montre geste, but also the inner philosophy nurturing them. A gestural philosophy doesn't search for a supposed comprehension, a participant exegesis. A gestural philosophy creates, like the art Deligny signals, topos, spaces where the remnant occurs between us, through us, in the open air. Thank you so much.